Hey guys, I've got another ship build for you. This time it is a mid-game Class A fighter. I had just completed the UC faction questline and wanted a nice ship that fit the theme of being a UC Vanguard captain. This ship maxes out all stats and fully powers all systems during combat, making a compact powerhouse that flies around like a bat out of hell. Let's get into it. As we usually do, we're going to start with our landing bays and then work our way up and then out. We're going to be using Habs as the skeleton of our ship. Feel free to follow along or do your own thing. I don't know if you guys are getting tired of my Demos builds, but I promise I'm going to start making ships with other manufacturers. I've been experimenting with Tayo's pieces and I think I've got the hang of it. If you're fans of Mobile Suit Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans, then you may be excited about what I have next. This is going to be the overall skeleton of the ship, and we're going to put the cockpit up front. And then we're going to put the docker at the bottom. Now, go ahead and select the reactor you want. I'm going to use these because this is the best reactor I have at class A. Now, go ahead and select the grav drive you want. I'm going to use the Helios 400s. For our engines, I'm going to use the White Dwarf 3015 engines. They are experimental parts that require Starship Design Rank 4, however, they have a top max speed of 180, making them far faster than anything else in the game. For our fuel, I'm going to use the H10 because we only need about 200 fuel. For our shields, we're going to use the Deflector SG40s because they only take 6 power to fully power, allowing us to allocate more to our weapons. Now let's go ahead and start putting on our structural pieces to really get the shape of the ship. The vision I had for this was to create a kind of housing for the engines to give it an interesting look, something out of sci-fi. While still maintaining the interesting shape of the ship from a top-down view. You can kind of put whatever you want here, but I like the braking engines for a kind of functional aesthetic. They don't actually do anything, but they look nice when you use them. I'm going to be using these bumper fins at the ends and the sides of the halves to kind of add some shape and break the boxy look when looking at from the front and the back. Now to really complete the fighter look, I'm going to put a skeg piece at the bottom back of the ship. However, if you wanted more cargo space, you could replace it with a cargo hold. Keep in mind that it will reduce the overall mobility of the ship, but maybe not by much depending on which one you use. Continuing that, I'm going to be putting a tail at the top above the grab drive and I'm going to be putting some spine pieces to blend the tail into the forward cowling. Typically on heavier ships, I'll put the landing gears last, but because this is a fighter build, it's okay to put it right now. I'm going to go ahead and select the Demos Wing E's and flip them around. They work very well as weapon mounts as well. And just because we have some extra space, I'm going to go ahead and put some windows 
onto our living quarters and our captain's quarters. I'm going to use these Mahler auto cannons for breaking holes. And these lasers to break shields. The good thing about these spine pieces is that they also serve as nice weapon mounts. And with that, we're done. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and leave a like. It would really help me break through the algorithm. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Thank you.